open data has evolved over you know the last five to ten years in terms of starting from you know just kind of publishing it, getting it out there, to starting to actually publish a little bit more curated high value data sets. Um, so things that citizens are actually looking for. And then now we're starting to see as you kind of publish this high value information, how do you then actually present it in a way that's gonna be valuable for various personas. The first step to really getting information out to the public is to understand it yourselves. And so by pulling it into Socrata and starting to look at that information, you can get a better handle of like, what does it mean? What are the implications? If it does show that you aren't doing well, how are you going to address that? And then that is a great story to tell to the public and say, here's where our problems are. Here's what we're doing about it. Here's what we're tracking. And we're going to keep you up to date as we kind of work through this and show that we're improving it over time. And that's just a great thing to communicate to citizens because chances are they already know where the issue Issues are and so it's good to communicate that and build that trust with your citizens. The open data program benefits our customers in a number of different ways. Um, first it helps them inform and engage the residents that they serve um, and that you know has a myriad of benefits whether that's simply t helping them tell a story about how tax dollars are being spent. It also has a tremendous impact internally as well. Um, the, we have somewhat created a common hub for data, um, a place where people within governments can work across program lines, they can work across these data silos that naturally exist, and they can better perform their job and better get their job done every single day. So one of the, the great things is people are pulling data into Socrata and the first time they get that data set loaded and they're starting to look at it and understand it, being able to really quickly build visualizations on top of that. And so we have a couple of different ways that you can build charts and do kind of these dashboard analysis, being able to really quickly create the timeline or the bar chart or the pie chart or whatever kind of visualization makes sense for that data and present it to citizens so they can quickly look at it, answer the question that they wanted to answer and kind of move on to the next thing. The digital transformation in government isn't going to happen overnight. It's been happening for years. This is not a new revolution. It went from, you know, the data silo that was the filing cabinet to the data silo that is the Oracle database. We've just put it into a different silo without still having the right access for the average worker. And so what we're trying to alleviate is just connecting the data to the right people, to the right places, to the right systems. People who come in and they work day in and day out for their government, it's because they love what they do. They love serving their local constituents. And so it's just really great to be able to partner with them and make their job better. There is a lot of really great innovative things happening in government and through this ecosystem which Socrata is part of, we can help government execute a successful shift to the digital world and help government thrive in this new world and data is the key for us to help our governments use um, effectively. So that's our mission, that's what keeps us excited every day.